Hi, welcome to Pop Edge Studio. So, I've been told I've got to be very brief by Mrs. Breaker because I waffle on about too many technical things and she's probably off getting a cup of coffee somewhere. Anyway, so what's this video going to be all about? It's going to be about how to get 24 channels out of one of these. The Ethos operating system run by FR Skype can give you potentially 24 channels of radio control. But FR Sky don't make a 24 channel receiver. So how do you get 24 channels out of one of those if there isn't a 24 channel receiver? The biggest receiver they actually make is a TDR18. That's 18 channels. So if you do your maths, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, you need six more channels. So why don't they make a 24 channel receiver? I don't know. Hopefully to come in the future. Anyway, what I'm going to do is show you how to get 24 channels out of here very, very, very easily. Now, in the old days, what we basically had, and I don't know why I say in the old days, because this is still pretty much current. This has six channels, and in the six channels on here, it links with the six channel receiver. But this six channel transmitter can only transmit six channels. This, this six, channel, six channel receiver can only receive six channels. They're kind of locked together. You, you can never get any more. You can get less, but you can't get more. So back to the ethos system. I've got in here at the moment my, the model setup for my tank that, we've, that I've been building. And I've got in the tank a TDR18. I've got 18 channel receiver in there and I'm using 18 channels, but I'm greedy. I need more channels. I need six more channels. I need to get up to my 24 channels. How do I do it? Well, I just happen to have a spare TDR10. So I'm going to use this for now. Didn't really need a TDR10. I could have just used a six channel receiver, but I'm going to use this one because I've got it. So what I'm actually going to do, you will notice that when you bind these, now remember the way this works in FR Sky, you, you register the, your, your receivers first in the transmitter and then you can then bind them at any point to any model, however you want. Spectrum, Futaba all have different systems, same as FR Sky, but as, in essence, we bind receivers to transmitters, that's how we get them to talk to each other. So what I'm gonna show you is how simple this is. So I'm gonna show you here on the radio itself, now, it might be a bit difficult to see. Uh, I might have to do some close-ups and cutaways, but I'm gonna go in now. So I've gone into my model menu and I'm going to go to RF system. And this is where we bound, scroll down. This is where we bound our receiver. So in here on RX1, it says TDR18 because I have got a TDR18 bound to RX1. Aha, but you say to yourself, why is there an RX2 and why is there an RX3? Why would you want to bind more than one receiver to a model? Now, obviously, if you're flying a plane or you helicopter, you might not, even this isn't relevant, you know, uh, because you just don't need that many transmitters. But this is where you can go into RX2 and you can bind another receiver into RX2. And this is what I have done. I've got RX1, I have bound my TDR18, and then I've gone straight through the process again for RX2 and bound my TDR10. So how do you connect it all together? So we know that you can bind multiple receivers into the same model. You can bind up to three of them. So for example, if this was um, a, a TDR8, we can have three TDR8s all bound in, which of course gives you 24 channels. Now, I'm gonna power this receiver up and now you can hear. Now we're going to go back. You can see now we know it's bound. We know the TDR18 is bound. We're going to now go back into the menu. I'm going to show you how to get your channels out of it. Right, so in the radio, you can see our TDR18 is bound and we've got 1 to 18 channels. On my TDR10, I'm going to click Set. And then I'm going to go into Options. And in options, you can see here are all the pin outputs, all 10 of them, because there are 10 pins on the TDR10, 10, 10 pins. But here's the fun bit. On pin number one, it currently says channel one. Well, that's not much good to me because I need pin one to be on channel 19. Remember, the first receiver ended on channel 18, but it's as simple as press the button, where it says channel one, scroll through, find channel, let's put it on channel 20. You can see there now, pin one is now on channel 20. And I'll go through and I'll just allocate my pins. So with two receivers, I can now get up to 24 channels. It's that 
simple. So, two receivers, 24 channels. It really, as I said, is that simple. And obviously, the beauty of that is if you're doing building a robot, you can have receivers placed in different positions in the robot. So for example, in Tiffany, we can have a receiver in the head dealing with, for example, eight channels in the head of servo control, another receiver in the body, another receiver in the lower section. So we're not messing around with loads and loads of wires. We don't even need to use S-Bus or F-Bus connections. We can do it all within the radio to transmit a binding system. It, it really is you know, that, that easy. And of course, you could also use stabilised receivers, which means you could have gyros in different sections of the robot, all built in to the receiver, all talking to the same model controller. Um, it, it really, I keep saying it's simple. There is one caveat. Now, on here, let me just unplug that for a moment, you must bind the same type of receiver. So, here is, this is a TD receiver, it's a TDR10, here's an Archer receiver, this is a six channel. So you would think, all right, six channels, I could, I could bind this little Archer to my TDR18 and that would give me 24 channels. It won't work. It won't work because it's a different type of receiver. This is an Archer series receiver, this is a TD receiver. And when you are in your model menus, I'm not going to go in and show you, but basically when you're in your model menu, it will when you bind your receivers, it asks you what type of receiver it is. You can't select multiple types of receivers. You have to select either TD mode or access. You know, you have to select the right receiver, the right mode. So unfortunately, you can't bind an access receiver with a TD receiver. You have to either have two TD, two or three TD receivers or you, you get the idea. That would be the only thing that I would think, you know, could be a fantastic upgrade to, to, to link multiple receivers together. But simply bind multiple receivers into the same model up to the maximum number of channels you want. And you have up to 24 channels in any robot or any model that you're using. It's that simple.